Hi everyone. Today we are going to start a new topic about the Kalman filter design in modeling or in the system dynamic perspective. Okay? So we need to take a headline just like this one Kalman filter design in modeling. Okay? This is our head title. And so the objective of this topic are <coughs> first of all designing Kalman filter and its property. its features especially in terms of the mathematical ones okay and also we driving Kalman filter based on probability and matrix theory because uh, we always utilize uh, to what to matrices in the system dynamics as the state space and so we need to compete or combine the probabilistic features into the into the matrix domain and so we can uh, estimate the next state or the present state or we can remove the what the noisy parts of our signal or the state in our algorithm and after that the MATLAB codes will be written in the M script and in the simulink. Okay? <coughs> but in the domain of the what? In the discrete domain. Okay? <coughs> so, firstly, so we need to take a start with the introduction. of our topics okay so in the basics the filter is to what to use to obtaining the main state or signal from noisy observations or measurements in real life okay <clears throat> in order to do that we can use the two different approach in here first of all we can utilize the mean squared error and so this minimizes noises then we can get main signal or meaningful part of our signal or we can use the maximum likelihood in terms of the probabilistic nature okay and so this maximize the what the most likely main signal okay and so either we can utilize or remove the noises or we can either using the maximum likelihood method <coughs> to <coughs> provide the <coughs> most likely main signal in this domain okay but in the combination of these two things and so we can get the main signal with the maximization probability and we can also minimize the noises for a given signal domain okay and so first of all we need to evaluate the mean square error okay 
What's the meaning of this? <coughs> Let's show, let the signal be to what to yk is equals to the what ak times xk plus eta k. And so, in terms of these terms, this is the noise. It's coming from the outside. Okay? And so, this xk is the total main state for our signals. Okay? This is the gain. It's coming from the what the sensor or the, our algorithm to what? To create the observations. Maybe you can <coughs> measure the watt, <coughs> the voltage value, but you may convert this voltage into the watt, into the pressure values. But there always be a watt and noises in here. Okay? <coughs> and so, <coughs> our objective is that this XK must be found from these signals. Okay? And so, we need to find... <coughs> find to what x k main components okay so in order to do that we can utilize this method we can use the what the noise at the left hand side and then we can have the y k minus eta k and <coughs> we multiply the a k minus one which is equals to the x k right but we only observe or the measure to the what to the yk value and we don't know anything about the what the ak we don't know these parameters okay we only have to what the yk values in here <coughs> and so how can we Organize these equations in here. Therefore, if we don't know anything about the AK and eta K, and so we need to estimate XK hat is defined by <coughs> with the what? With the function of the EK, which is equal to the function of XK. It's the real part x k hat is the estimated part and so f <coughs> e k is equal to the what x k <coughs> this is the real part x k hat this is the estimated part <coughs> and so if we minimize this function so we will have to what? To xk value. In terms of to what xk hat. Okay? If we accomplish to the what to minimization of the dysfunction, and then we may have to what to main signal components. Because of the, if we if we minimize this signal and so this at a k value or noises are removed and also ak may be estimated from our algorithm but how we can do that so <coughs> in that case we need to talk about the maximum likelihood and its definition okay <coughs> The main <coughs> purpose of the maximum likelihood is that finding the x hat, estimated x, which maximize the probability of y. y is the observation and so if we want to probability of the y at the max and so we need to find out the x hat value okay and so in the mathematical representation max probability of the y 
<coughs> x. <coughs> the expansion form of the explanation of this p value is that the y or the probability of the y for a given x. Okay. For example, <coughs> the normal distribution. is given by with the what f x i mu i and sigma okay <coughs> and so it's defined with the what 1 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma square times exponential over minus x i minus mu square divided by two times square in here okay and so <coughs> which parameter is maximizes the r probability at this case because uh, this is the normal distribution and this is the probability rate okay for a given mu and sigma value we want to maximize the xi in here okay <coughs> and so we need to find the mu and to what sigma values okay this is the one of them the mu is the mean value or the expected value and sigma is the standard deviation values in here okay so this is our problem in order to do that we need to <coughs> go into the new page in here and so the solution can be given by with the what for an independent and identical distributed probabilities Which means that if we have the n observation from our system or system dynamic equation, we assume that they are independent and they are identically distributed or <coughs> normally distributed. Okay? And so we can assign it with the what? With the L, the mu and sigma values, x1, x2, and blah, blah, blah and x n can be given by with what the pi i 1 and n and function of x i mu sigma okay and so if you multiply the whole the probabilities and then we can set the total probability values for example for a given time series data or the state space values just like this one and so the probability rate of this one, if we have the five values in here, is it's equals to the n equal five. And so the happening rate or the happening probability of this curve is calculated with uh, this one. Okay, this is called the likelihood. Okay, guys. <coughs> so in another form, we can write the log likelihood in here. <coughs> In order to what? In order to convert this form into the energy one. Okay? Function. And also, we want to remove the what exponential term in here. <coughs> and so the L, mu, and sigma value is equal to the what the ln, L, mu, sigma, x1, x2, blah, blah, blah xn and it's equals to the what it's the summation form of the what the logarithmic function right now okay xi mu and sigma function is given here and so this is the what this is the multiplication but in the energy form or the logarithmic form this is the turning into the water summation. This is a huge advantage of the what? Of the calculation of the maximization.
property in here we can maximize it because it's a linearly independent and identical distributed right now and so we can treat the whole the function as to what as independently just like the linear systems right <coughs> and so if we have this information we can rewrite this equation just like this one l mu sigma values is equals to the what the summation operator i1 to n ln 1 divided by 2 pi sigma over 2 times exponential term minus xi minus mu divided by 2 times sigma square values of this term if we calculate the whole the values of these terms this l function turning into the what turning into this form mu and sigma value is equals to what minus n ln square root 2 pi okay and minus n ln sigma values which is coming from the this one and so minus 1 divided by 2 square sigma square times it's the collection of the r data because the ln operator removes the exponential 1 and so i 1 to n x i minus mu square okay this is the r total log likelihood function to be maximized or minimized our probability rate of these terms okay and so we need to apply the logarithmic function in here because we want to eliminate the properties of the multiplication if we have the summation in the probability we have a huge advantage to what to calculate the our expected values or the standard deviation or we can easily optimize these values based on these informations okay so <coughs> in the first place we need to calculate to what firstly the finding mu value or the expected value we should call it to the what to the mean value so <coughs> in order to do that we need to take the derivative of the what this l function mu and sigma which is defined in the previous page and so we need to take the partial derivative with respect to the what the mu values and so this gives us 1 divided by sigma square times i equals 1 to n and xi minus mu okay and this should be equals to the zero because this is the maximum point or the maximum probability for first derivative condition just remember that so this cannot be zero <coughs> and so we always utilize what the right hand side of this equation and then we can write easily 0 equals to the what i is equals to the 1 to 10 x i minus mu value and so from this equation mu is equals to what the 1 divided by n times i 1 to n x i value this is the standard definition of the what the mean value you will always utilize this property in the probability or in the signals okay this is the expected value <coughs> most likely we will have this value which we call it to the what to the mean value average values of for a given signal but where is it coming from this is the proof of the what the mean values or the average value or the expected value because it maximizes the likelihood probability for a given signal 
in the distribution of the what the normal distribution and so we can say that the every signal can be treated as the what the normal distribution in the math okay <clears throat> this is the first proof in the second proof <clears throat> we need to write to the what finding sigma standard deviation okay so we need to take the partial derivative for the what the mu and sigma function with respect to the standard deviation partial sigma which is equals to what minus n sigma plus one sigma over three times i equal one to n and x i minus mu value square and so this should be equal as to what to zero this is the maximum condition for the first derivative okay <coughs> so if you multiply every part with the what sigma over three and so zero is equals to the what minus n times sigma square plus i equal one to n x i minus mu square values is equals to the zero right and so this sigma square is equals to what the one divided by n i equal one to n and x i minus mu square values and which means that the standard deviation of the r probability is equals to the what which is the maximization values for a given what the l function or the normal distributed data set or the probabilistic rate in here and so this sigma value maximize the likelihood function which is equals to the what the square root of the what one divided by n i is equals to the one n and x i minus mu square okay this is the basic proof of the what the mu and sigma values okay it's important to know that the <coughs> mu and the sigma formulation are the maximization values for a normal distribution formula which is considered as identically distributed and so this two formula is useful to what this two formula is called the maximum likelihood formula we use it everywhere to what to these two values mu and sigma values expected or mean values and the standard deviation but it's important to know that in mathematical sense the everything can be considered as identically distributed in the normal distribution and after that we can consider that if we are using the mu and sigma values for a given signals and then this is the most likely values from these signals for example in the graph i can show it right now if we have these signals and so the most likely values is coming from this one right for example five and also the deviation is maybe is two with the magnitude rate of this one and so we can easily say that but in mathematical sense it's the condition of the what the maximum likelihood formula for a given xi which is distributed identically in a normal distributions okay this is the mathematical proof for the, what the mu and sigma and we will use uh, these properties on the what on the online estimation or removing the noise values because we can identify the main part or the expected part of the what of our signal or time response or state space in the what in the online estimation or online calculation okay so this is the maximum like likelihood formula and so we can model the anything by using the, these properties guys okay <clears throat> so 
how we can use this information now let's back into measurement like to what the yk is the observation ak is the gain xk plus eta k okay we may have no the xk or ak or we already obtained the yk observations but we don't know the noise it's unmodeled in here and so we can modeling this term as a distribution using the probability theory okay and so how we can do that we may know the what the xk and yk from the state space we already observed the yk from the measurements and we can build the xk as a state space in here in the model and also we can determine the ak value from the what the state space system parameters but we don't know anything about this one and then i can write that this probability <coughs> yk for a given xk can be written as k times k this is the specific constant bringing to the what the probability <coughs> to one <coughs> because the probability rate px times dx in the integral form must be equal to the one this is the simple coefficients or the constants in here but the important part is that the exponential over minus yk minus ak times xk hat <coughs> square it's given in here and so two times sigma k square can be given in here okay and so this is equals to the what the nk value the noise value okay and so if you have the state space values or the state signals in here coming from the what the x dot is equals to a x plus b u and so we have also a gain but we don't know the exact number of these things but we know the state space okay and we have already measured <coughs> or obtained to the what to these observations for example the sensual values or the other things but we don't know the noise distribution and then we can model it just like this one yk observed value xk hat estimated xk value coming from the state space ak is the what is the our state space parameters and so <coughs> the data likelihood <coughs> hood is p y x hat in general form is p k k k times exponential term minus y k minus a k x k hat right now square form in here and two times sigma k square in here and this is leading to the what <coughs> to this one the log function or the ln function p y x hat is equals to what minus one divided by two the summation form of k and so y k minus a k x k square divided by sigma k square plus some constant but this is not important because if we take the derivative of this term this constant removes from this one but the important part is that we can drive an equation form to maximize or minimize right minimize this noise value for this noise right if you have this probability values in here just like this one and so we can build to the what to the noise modeling and so if you have this online estimation online 
log log the likelihood function and so we can either minimize or maximize the noise values which is the highest probability rate and so in real time applications in online applications we can return or remove these noises from the main part of this signal which is equals to the what to the x k okay so this is the theoretical basis of the what the Kalman filter idea guys okay in the next lesson we will drive the Kalman filter equation